welcome back to the next film in this little series we're doing called Percy's Progress. The little dog now is 55 weeks old. Uh, he had his birthday a few weeks ago. And first of all, I must apologise for the delay in getting this next film out. Uh, anybody living in the UK will realise we've had um, a bit of a heat wave. So I've kind of curtailed Percy's training a little bit. But we've got a bit of a cooler day today, so we've come out to the wood nice and early. And uh, I've been working on his marking skills, really. Um, it's part of the dog's training that I think is actually very important. Yeah, if you've got a dog that won't look at where everything's, um, something you've shot has fallen or a dummy that's been thrown, and you've got to constantly handle it out, uh, it delays the time in you managing to get that retrieve. So I'm really keen on developing this also, skill. If I'm picking up, it's really handy for a dog that can watch birds come down, remember where they are. Uh, so that marking skill is something that we really want to try and develop in young Percy here. One of the problems that uh, can occur uh, with these young dogs is obviously if we've been trying to develop this, this eye contact uh, ever since he was a young puppy. And that to me again is very important. But what can happen is the dogs can become so fixated on you that they don't look out front. They don't look where that uh, dummy or bird is going to fall. So we need to teach them that skill. I want Percy to start to be looking forward. When he's hunting and he's flushes something and hopefully I get a clean shot on it, he's going to be out there. He's not going to be next to me. He's not a Labrador retriever, um, where obviously most of the time that's where they sit. So although I'm going to start this exercise with him being close to me, I will also develop it where he's sitting away from me. So he has to then start to look. Uh, regarding dummies, uh, I try and make it a bit easier for them when they're young. Uh, so I tend to use a black and white dummy, which is a good contrast, so it's nice and easy for them to see. Or, um, you'll probably remember in one of the earlier videos I talked about colours uh, that dogs can see. Purple and blue is a very strong colour for their eyes. So again, I might use a purple dummy. And this all just helps the dog see the retrieve when I'm throwing it out. Or indeed, as you'll see later, um, I'm using a dummy launcher. If you're like me and do most of your training on your own, it can be quite difficult to get the dog to learn to look forward for the retrieve. Obviously, nine times out of 10, you're throwing the dummy from the side here. So he's watching it from here away. And as things develop, and you'll see later on when we use the, uh, the dummy launcher, I'm gonna be using that out the front. So I need him to start to learn to look forward. If you've got somebody that can help you, that's great because you can get them to stand forward and throw the dummy out. But I guess for the vast majority of us, we're going to do a proportion of our training on our own. So we need to develop techniques that help and us. And one of the easiest ways to get this dog to start to look forward is just to take a few steps forward off of off the side of him. Now, a Spaniel, as I already mentioned, has got to get used to being sent away from the handler. He's not going to spend his life stuck to my left leg. So what we're going to do is I'm going to throw that dummy out. I'm going to be watching him. I'm not going to send him when he's looking at me. My timing's got to be quite critical. As soon as he locks onto that dummy, that's when I'm going to give him that command. So he's looking at me now. I'm just going to wait till he drops his head on that dummy. Get out there. Here, fetch it. Good lad, here. Good boy, sit. Good lad. You can see that I've been working on his delivery as well. That was far, far better than what it has been. We're still getting a few flying visits, but um, just getting there nicely. So you see that an important thing with that was when he lost his eye contact with me and looked at the dummy, my timing then, bang. So he will then start to learn that when he's looked, sit up. When he's looked out at that dummy, that's when he's going to get sent. Another technique you can use to... Uh, encourage your dogs to mark forward uh, is to actually throw your dummy against a tree or a bush to make a noise. Now this is especially good if you've got a dog that will constantly keep eye contact with you. Now obviously we've shortened this for just the purposes of this film. Um, you'd stay forward or stay next to your dog like this and you've got that eye contact again. But what you'll do, there. Now you've got that noise. I'm just going to wait till he drops his head again. You saw him look at it straight away. Still got that eye contact. I'm just waiting for him to drop his head. Get out there. It's a real short little retrieve for him. Sit. 
good boy. Heel. Now you saw there when I threw that dummy, the noise straight away just attracted his, his, uh, his, his view, his sight. So that's something that's a good little way, especially if you've got some cover and it's a bit dense and the dog is not going to be able to see the dummy land, just by throwing it into a bush or against a tree, it just draws that eye line forward. So uh, as I've already mentioned, I do most of my training on my own. And uh, a couple of years ago, I invested in this little bit of kit here. Um, not sponsored by them um, and I bought it with my own money but uh, it's a really good piece of equipment uh, it's a, a remote controlled launcher plenty of these on the market but actually this one works with compressed air it will fire up to uh, 150 meters away from you so it's a fantastic tool if you're on your own for getting those dogs to market a distance which hopefully we'll show with Percy in a minute but equally because you can adjust the the angle of this um, later on in Percy's training, I'm going to be able to simulate flushes coming out of stick piles and things like that. So I could be hunting him, um, I could be working him, and I could fire this out, fire a dummy out at different angles. So, you know, it's, it's just more than a, a retrieving tool. I, I, I use it for all sorts of different scenarios. Uh, it's a very, very useful bit of kit, made by a company called iLauncher. Um, I will put a link uh, in the description below. So I'm going to go and set it up now and just show you how I use this. So what we've done, we've set the dummy launcher up about 15 foot in front of us, uh, off to one side. So we're using a track here, so the dummy will go up the track, so that will be a good visual uh, sight of line, line of sight for, for Percy. Uh, I introduce a command, a mark command, when uh, I start using the dummy launcher like this. And you'll actually see why that's a useful command when we move it into the woods and the dummies are actually coming forward to us simulating a, a, a picking up day like you're picking up you'll hear that noise kicking every now and again that's just the air compressor just topping up the sure. tanks one of the problems you can have with uh, either a remote launcher or even a handheld dummy launcher is uh, they're great pieces of equipment and they're very useful in certain circumstances but the, one of the biggest problems is they can induce running in on the dog and I think the main reason uh, that happens is because 99% of the time you'll use the dummy launcher, you'll fire a dummy and you'll send the dog. We tend not to go out and pick the dummies up if they've come off of a dummy launcher and the reason is, is because they tend to go too far. The good thing about these air compressor ones, you can actually adjust the air pressure going in. Uh, so if I wanted just to really steady him back down, I'd drop the air pressure down and then you still get the same effect, dummy going away and everything else, but it just wouldn't go so far, um, which would enable me to go and pick it up. So I'm going to use this mark command, which you'll get used to looking up the track. And what I'm looking for at this stage is him actually looking forward. I want him to break eye contact me when I say mark, and I want him to look up the track where that dummy's going. As soon as he locks on, that's when I'll send him. I am just going to block him because this is a, a, an up to the level of excitement with his retrieving. So mark, nice eye forward, <laughs> dummy goes. I'm not worried about that, where that lands. He's got the mark on it. I'm just gonna wait till his eye line comes back down again. There, get out. He's just dropped his head nicely there. Now I've got to trust he's got the mark on that. Smack on. Steady. Sit. Come here. Sit. Good boy. A little bit excited coming back on that retrieve, but come back all right. I'll, I'll, I'll work with that for the moment. Beep. 